the machine learning healthcare is actually um, really growing. One area is in the area of computer vision. Um, we are starting to see algorithms that are doing better and better at diagnosing things like cancer, for example. So if you think about doing a mammogram, for example, that's a very complicated, I mean, the picture that comes out is very complicated. Um, and there's only so much the human eye can detect. But given um, tons and tons and tons of mammogram swag gradients, they are better able to detect some of all this um, development of cancers, even at a much earlier stage than humans are able to detect. Um, so that's one thing that is very exciting. So the detection of breast cancer is becoming better. The other is in the area of clinical decision making. If you um, see a patient in the ICU, for example, there is a lot of monitoring that is going on. They're monitoring their brain function or sometimes monitoring their brain functions, their heart, their respiratory organs, sometimes their bowel movements, um, seeing if um, um, how they're breathing. The doctors take a lot of all these things into account when they make a decision about the state of a patient and they're doing an excellent job. But oftentimes uh, machines are able to take in a lot of this complex information and, and give suggestions to a doctor in a way that can make actions a, a quicker and in a more accurate way. So it's not to take over the job of the doctors, but it's to be able to distill the information that they have, which is a lot, and then give them a recommendation that they can now make a decision on in an easier, more accurate way. That's one thing. Another area that I'm actually very excited about is um, in the area of mental health and well-being. This is where I, a lot of my PhD work was focused on. There's a lot of research on um, trying to you know, cure cancer or find a cure for cancer or how do we improve on respiratory disease or cardiovascular diseases, which is great. But the majority of the population are healthy people. And one of the things that I've really focused on is how do we keep healthy people healthy? Oftentimes, by the time you get to the doctor, you're already ill or you've already experienced some sort of symptom. Um, but is there a way that we can monitor people and make sure that we can, once we start to detect this decline, then we can let them know, hey, um, it's time for you to go see a doctor. And we all know that the earlier a lot of all these things are detected, the easier it is for it to be treated. Um, so that's one area that's still very new. There's a lot to learn, there's a lot to do, but I'm really excited about it. And the health information will be coming from wearable devices. So things like a smartwatch, your Fitbit, um, your help app on your iPhone, for example, it's logging your activity steps, um, logging the amount of exercise that you're doing and yeah, things like that.